for it. <laughs> yeah. For Jay Z, uh, why would we do Jay Z in December? As you may or may not know, I hope you know, he was born December 4th. Yes. Okay, I'm not sure. But I have been uh, in love, I had a contained obsession with Jay, as my mom can vouch for a sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've had a contained obsession with him ever since his first album, his first single, Can't Knock a Hustle, off of the Reasonable Doubt album. And uh, I just really love him. There's, it's really hard to put into words how Jay makes you feel if you don't feel that way about him. I feel bad for you. Um, but I have to start with, I guess, basically, he had swag before that was a word. Okay? He was like, he was the guy who, he knows how to keep it gangster, he knows how to keep it gully, but he's a smooth hustler at the same time. I mean, take a look at this picture right here, right? That says it all. Like, back in the mid-90s, nobody was looking like that. No rappers was looking like that, okay? But it's not just his machismo, okay? It's, uh, it's the music, obviously. Like, how can you like a rap artist or a hip-hop artist or a musical artist of any kind and not like their music, right? So props should be given to the producers. If you guys don't know, I mean, yeah. half of the reason why this music sounds so good is because of the producers. If it wasn't for people like DJ Premier, DJ Clark Kent, Ski, or Scotty, <laughs> um, and of course Sean Combs and Dame Dash, the songs that we know today recognize as like his classics from his catalog, they wouldn't sound the same. And then of course, the lyrics. Like, I'm a words girl. I write. I write for the show. I write for other things. And like, how can you not acknowledge the lyricist that is Jay Hove, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Hove. Um, <laughs> I mean, like he has it going on from his witty, sarcastic remarks, like what I look like giving a chick half my trap, like she wrote half my raps. Yeah. <laughs> to like, words that are a little bit more deeper and pensive, like for example, um, on regrets. This is the number one rule for you set in order to survive. Gotta learn to live with regrets. On the rise to the top, many drop. Don't forget, in order to survive, gotta learn to live with regrets. Ooh, okay. How many people have felt that? Sometimes. Yeah, I'm trying to get trying to get there. Okay, mom, you are really cool. <laughs> but, but what I like about, uh, but what I love about those lyrics is that it's something we've all felt at some point. It's also the, the second hook to regrets is you used to hold me, told me that I was the best. Anything in this world I want, I could possess. All that made me want was all that I could get in order to survive. I don't learn to live with regrets. Mm -hmm. How many have had somebody hold you? It was so hard for him to find a record deal for a long time because AR people didn't know what to do. He was looking like that. How do you package that? Yeah. He had to package that himself. That's why Rockefeller Records was made, right? So.